All right. Hello everyone. I am Zealous and today I will show you how to play Killer. This guide will be divided into chapters for your convenience. Chapter 1 will be on Killer Selection and Build Tips. Chapter 2 will be on General Killer Strats. And Chapter 3 will be commentary over some gameplay. First up, pick your poison. Now unlike survivors, the killer you pick will have a significant effect over your game plan throughout the entire game. So like, a trapper, for example, will be 10 times different from playing someone like Blight. The experience will be 10 times different. But uh, anyways... Yeah, choose wisely on that. For perks, you are generally going to want to bring like one or two uh, gen defense perks. Uh, so that way you can be able to keep up with uh, survivors in terms of, you know, the game aim. Because they, they only have to complete five gens in order for them to get away. So you'd want to slow that down as much as possible, and gen slow down, gen gen slow perks will generally help that. So like bring something like jolt or deadlock. Hell, even bring something like overcharge. It'll help you out significantly. Yeah. Any, anyways, uh, you're gonna then want a tracking perk. Now I don't have a tracking perk on this build, but. That does not really matter in this instance. Right, so bring something like infectious or like barbecue or whatever. Okay. The average build is just generally going to consist of one or two gen slowdown perks, a tracking perk, a utility perk such as something like Franklin's, and, and then for the fourth one do whatever you want for the fourth one. The fourth one does not really matter. That one is just a like a free space in like a bingo card. So yeah, you for that one use whatever you want. So now we now that we've wrapped up chapter one, we're gonna be going over to chapter two, which we're gonna do some um uh general killer strats that you're going to be doing regardless of the killer you're playing. It doesn't matter if you're playing Dredge or Hillbilly. Th these tips will generally uh, <laughs> apply to everybody. Except maybe Nurse. Nurse, but look, if you play Nurse, you're playing in a different game entirely. Yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump into a custom game so that way I can properly uh, show you. Fear like uh, seeing is e like showing you is easier uh, to explain than just telling. You. All right. So we are here in a custom game uh, at Dead Dog. I put on one survivor so that way we don't get absolutely uh, gen rushed. Let me just break this a sec. We get a uh, drop down here. So like, let's take like a loop like this, right? This is like pretty standard loop. You got the pallet here, long wall, short wall. Survivors will they'll generally want to run around this as tightly as you can since killer's hitbox it is significantly uh, bigger than a survivor's hitbox significantly wider so they're going to be able to round the corner faster All right what you want to do is you want to do the same thing and hug the wall as tightly as you can to keep up however you you don't just want to do that otherwise they could just Get as many loops in out of you as they need. Drop this pallet 
and then they could be able to migrate to like this pallet. They could run over to Killer Shack. They could run that way. They could run over to uh here. You don't want that. The the way they could be able to tell uh when you're coming, the level is terror radius. And they'll also see this red light that comes out of wherever you're facing. So that is what helps them uh, track you at loops. Because they could be able to see where you're looking. You want to use this to your advantage. Oh, what? Oh. Uh. Alright. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, I forgot that the hatch spawns in custom games, so we put in two survivors so that way, uh, we won't be interrupted. Alright, l let's go over to, uh, this loop here. To, like, explain. Like, they would have the window there, pallet here. They'll generally, like, want to try and run it like this, and then vault that window. Alright, they could be able to tell whenever you're, uh, where you're looking through this red light that emits in front of your face that you cannot see. You want to use that to your advantage. Like, say they're, they're right here, right? Right by the pallet, and you're, like, about, like, here. Like, you want to go this way, they'll probably drop it, and then just mind game this way. Now, it'll probably not work on this loop, since it's way too, uh, big. But yeah, that's generally what you want to do. Uh, at some loops. There are some loops that you don't want to do, such as Meat Tree. You don't want to do that too much anyway, because they could see Especially if you're like a tall killer or something. If you're like a tall killer, like Destiny or here, do not bother trying to do this too much, as they could just see you over the loop. So it wouldn't really matter if you do a, like a red light paint fake. But it's something like Killer Shack, and that LNT wall over there, yeah, that would definitely work. Now there's some loops that are like specific to certain maps like uh this combine harvester one. We'll probably like you know run up there, vault that window, or maybe vault this one. If they vault that one, what you what you could do is you could just hang on. You could just like go onto these uh A bales right here. It's easier if you swing. It's, it is a bit easier. I can't, I don't know, I can't, I can't do that for some reason. Maybe they're bugged or whatever. Yeah, anyways. You got these. Uh, sometimes you'll get these, like, uh, L and T walls. These are pretty common. What you want to do on these loops is you do not want to let them get this window don't like you don't want to run it like this you also don't want it what you want to do is you want to cut through the middle and that just shuts down that loop killer shack this this pallet right here this one this is a safe one meaning there is no mind gaming this pallet there is no way to mind game this because the walls around it, it's too large. I Meaning this, this is one you will have to break. Uh, also, make sure to use your killer power during the chase. If you, if yours is like chase oriented, make sure you're using that. It will help you cut down the chase times significantly. All right. We'll, we break this. That way they don't really get much distance. Uh, let's actually go chase one of the bots. I think I saw Bill over here. 
I saw so I saw someone over here. Yeah. Like there's this loop, right? I want to run along this side. In mind game. Dude, he gets the pallet, but that's fine. Well, you, you get the general idea. I'm a bit rusty, and also these spots are pretty good at dodging, so... Range killer can be very brutal on this killer. Oh yeah. I reel people in, and then hit them like that. Now he wants to he wants to be running me around this loop. We want to hug it as tightly as I can. He drops that, and then look at that. He has nowhere to go. He, there's no pallets over here for him. It doesn't even matter if I shoot him or not because there's nowhere for him to run. And this is where, that is where using your killer power comes in. All right, let's end this right now. So basically, quick su short summary, use, use red light fakes to, uh, get, to uh, trick survivors into going where you want them to go. You also want to make sure you use your killer power or utilize your killer power to help you win the game. Oh yeah, also, in terms of tracking survivors at the start of the game, you want to run for the three furthest gens. Uh... You want to run to the three furthest gens away from you whenever you spawn. Because that that's usually where they spawn. They'll spawn the farthest away from you. And see here, because I am really slow as this killer. Look at how long it's like taking for me to catch up. And this is where the power comes in. See, now, now they can't get away. <laughs> and that's that is a wrap for uh, these bots. Thank you, bots, for uh, helping me uh, d demonstrate this. Yeah. Use generator locations to be able to track uh, survivors, as they'll generally want to hang around near the gens. You want to yeah, use the gens to find survivors. They'll hang around them. Make sure you utilize your killer power in chase. And if it's a chasing power. And also, fake, fake red lights. Your, your red stains. Hang red light thing. In order for you to mind game the survivors. And that will generally uh, end... A majority of your chases is quickly in low to mid MMR. Yeah. And with that said, and we come to the end of uh, chapter two. Now, in chapter three, we will co cover some uh, gameplay footage uh, of me playing a game and explain my thoughts and mindset. Uh, whenever it comes to making the decision making, and I'll hopefully uh, improve yours. Yeah, that, that that's gonna be enough for real time me. We're gonna go to a uh, well future me, anyways. Yeah, I just want to say if you find this guide at all helpful, do drop a like, maybe even subscribe. I plan on doing more of these kind of guides in the future. But well, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Take care. Okay, there we go. We we are uh, reacted to uh, footage. As you can see, I am playing uh, Deathslinger in this game. We spawn in at Toba Landing. Now, the first thing I do immediately 
So I go to the furthest far, the furthest generators away from me, since that's where they typically spawn. I go over here, you know, grab grab the an invitation for the event and all to get uh some masks and whatnot. Yeah. There was no one at that chance, so we head over here and we do find uh one person. We actually find two people. Now we we just we get a hit here. I decide to continue chase with Meg since she's already injured. You know, why not? She gives me a free pallet here, which that is also nice. It helps uh make this area more unsafe. Decide to go take a shot here, make it act and I did get the shot and get the down. As with this character, it's all about the prediction. I predict she was gonna try and run le left the block line of sight, so I cut her off with the harpoon. Right, now we get the first hook. Go ahead and reload in between in here. We I go and head back over to where uh the generator was blocked since that one just ha had the most progress. And I just figured someone would be there. Go ahead and give it a kick, because why not? And we I run over here. You know, hoping to see if I could uh, find any survivors that ran off. I didn't find anyone. So, I I just head back over to the hook since that's where I know people are at. I don't want to waste too much time searching. Yeah, I missed a shot there. I'm a bit rusty. That killer I hadn't played in a bit. Yeah. They're, they're trying to prevent the tunnel here. You say no if if I get that kill then the game is effectively over. So they're they're trying to like prolong that kill for as long as they possibly can. I believe here they did manage to uh the Meg did manage to evade me, but we did relocate the Nia that was body blocking. But so did decide to uh chase her. Yeah, this is like one of the problems with Toba Landing. It's really big and there's a lot of line of sight blockers. Not a very good map for a Death Slinger here. Yeah, she fucked up. We managed to get the hit. That's not a very uh, safe vault there. And then we got our second hook as well as our second stack of No Way Out. Which will uh, help in the endgame scenario. I decide to uh, head up here since I know people were there. She fucked up and decided to prematurely vault. We got we got we got the accurate prediction shot. Figured she was gonna try that, so we just led the shot and got the hit. Of course, got to reload because we don't want to be stuck with no ammo and like nothing to shoot. Break that prematurely, you know. Try and minimize the uh, the resources a bit. But th now they're on two gens. I have two hooks. This is not looking very good for me. So I'm gonna have to like try and uh, sweat a little. You know, be a little bit cheeky. Yeah, they. Nia, for whatever reason, decided to double back. I predicted she was gonna try and fake for the pallet. I was right, and I got the I got a free hit for that. It's all about the predictions with Slinger. It's predict where they're gonna go, and then shoot the harpoon where they're going, not where they're at. They get away with live. They, the Nia has live. I, 
I prematurely aimed there, but I quickly retracted it since I knew that that was not I was not gonna make it in time. Here, I decided to stay in the area since I have three generators in the area. I'm pretty sure one of them is, was about to be done, so I just decided to stay in the area. This is a pretty good spot. They have effectively three gen themselves, which means you have three generators in relatively close proximity that the, I can control very easily. So if I just make sure they don't get any of those three done, then that's easy. Anyways, uh, I went and speared the book survivor. I and I tried using the uh this the uh you know the wind up time. Try and wait out BT as that's something you can do. But uh, I I didn't uh wait long enough, so she ended up getting away. Did get a solid hit on the uh. The bill and base effectively uh, punished him for pre-dropping there. Yeah. With Slinger, if if they're oh, if they're like healthy and they're behind a pallet, just shoot them. Like shoot them and break the chain. You'll get a you get a free health state. Yeah, I, I try to go for a shot bill that didn't work. Try it again with uh. Kayla, that also didn't work. They they were running off to the other side of the map. That is not advantageous for me. They're trying to bait me into leaving the generators. So I decided to stick around. Because they'll have to come to me. You gotta stick around these three gens. Although people do look down upon the strategy because it is boring. Like, yeah, it's boring. But it does win you games. And I wasn't really trying to 3 gen, they kind of just 3 gen themselves. So, if anything, it's their fault. Try to go for a shot, I missed. Bill's doing the emotes. Punished him for that by hey, pre aiming around the corner so that way he didn't have any time to react. He decided to camp the pallet. I use, uh, an invitation thing to uh, go and cancel that. Try to go for a shot for a Meg there, but uh, I was out of range, so that didn't end up hitting. Got a free hit off that Michaela. This side, like, yeah, they were gonna go. I I continued chase here because I knew she she was gonna probably go upstairs. She was going to go for the vault, so I predicted it, and I just went to where she landed. See, if you if you mind game stuff like that, those those vaults there become ridiculously unsafe if you know they're going to use it. Go over here, check my generators, end up finding a Meg. Now she's on death hook. If I kill her. This game would go a lot more smoothly. Yeah, she she pre-drops the pallet because she is trying desperately to not get hit by my harpoon. Because if she gets hit by my harpoon and she doesn't have anything between her, it's over. That I went got a hit there to try and end it quickly. Yeah, they end up they do end up getting a flashbang save though. Which is very unfortunate. But it doesn't matter. There is basically zero progress on any of the generators. They have not been able to work on the generators for more than five seconds. Which that's very good. Try try to go for a cheeky shot there. I end up fucking it up though. Although it did get a free hit out of it. Yeah, Bill. Bill is also trying to buy a block because she is also death hook. But both, both Nia and Meg are on death hook. So Bill is trying his absolute hardest to do that. 
did a quick eh, mind game there to uh, get the uh, free hit to prevent him doing that. I said the sluggies since I knew the Meg was in the area. So I went and after that, got a sweet ass shot from the railing. And now we got two downs. I decided to go for her first, but I knew she was dead. And at that point, I needed a kill desperately. Yeah, they go and pick up Bill. Oh no, wait, she she was on a uh, second hook at that time. Yeah, so she's on second hook, and she's she's in my proximity of generators. This is a very advantageous position for me. So I could defend the hook and the generators at the same time. I saw someone in the area, so I, I decided to go looking. But I couldn't find them for whatever reason. I saw someone ran. So I, I was just keeping an eye on that. Thought I saw someone there. I didn't. Well, I thought I heard that. Um. And I did end up finding them. They tried to be sneaky, but I could hear their uh, grunts of pain. That's, you always gotta keep an ear out, because they're, some might try and hide from you. You gotta listen carefully. They make distinct sounds. It doesn't matter what else is going on. They are audibly distinct. She fucked up. She went out of position. She should have... She should have uh, went for uh, the vault, although it wouldn't matter. I was too close for her to really get away. And that's my second kill. The game spirals out of control for the survivors there, here. Now, with, uh, with all the uh, free, uh, with two kills and at one gen, and I, the game is basically over for me. I predicted that she was going to come back. She did. I knew Bill was far away. He was on the complete opposite side of the map. So I decided to commit to this chase here. Got a nice shot there. Which gave me free down and a free hook. Now what yeah, I go. We go and hook her. Bill just happened to uh come to the area for whatever reason. He came back. I don't know why he would come back, but he did. We end up chasing him. Um, kind of lost me for a second with the foliage. This map. I don't know what it is with this map. It is so hard to track scratch marks in this map sometimes. He was he went up there. So I mind gamed him for for him to come down. He he did a cheeky play with the the vault and blocked it off as I went past. So I couldn't vault after him. He went around, but I, I ended up managing to cut him off here. And that is, and that is game. This, yeah. I, let's be real. It happens, this hap, that happens to the best of us. It doesn't matter how good you are. You will always end up fumbling with a vault for a pickup. Yeah, that, all because I won that game because I he secured the 3-gen, made sure that the at 3-gen was secure, and there was absolutely nothing they could do about it. And that, that's game. You found the hatch here. Yeah. Hope you learned something from this. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next week. Take care, everyone.